Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at this Blue Point service cart that I purchased yesterday. Um, this is an upgrade, I think, over my Snap on KRSC 323 that I had, which is up there. There's a video if you want to see the tour of that. I've now moved my tools from that one into this one. Um, I haven't decided whether this is going to be for home or for work, so we will see. Anyway, let's have a look. Now, starting with the lid. Again, just like the previous one, if you've seen that. Magnets on the top of there, holding my extensions. What I did find was one of these magnets wasn't enough. If you drop the lid, sometimes it'd fall off. Obviously with the weight of all these extensions, two magnets should fix that. Uh, down the sides, ratchets, some quarter drives, snap-on and blue point, Ooh, three eighths. That's a snap-on long handled, blue point, just standard size. Half inch signet blow gun break a bar couple of pry bars eighteen inch twenty four inch I think one thing this doesn't go all the way down if you look only this centre hole will go all the way down uh, yeah so I either need to drill a hole in there or just live with it I guess but it obviously means I've got to take that out to shut the lid this side is screwdrivers we've got flats big medium Average Phillips two Phillips one smaller flatty a couple of stubbies and a couple of screwdrivers that I found actually and these are for doing stuff you wouldn't want to do with a decent screwdriver prizing and knocking and whatever. mirrors in case you need to see down the back of an engine or whatever and then the top uh, sockets front and center this tray I've had for years and years and obviously I've gotten used to where each socket is I can pretty much grab it without looking so I probably I'm not going to change that I'd maybe get a newer one that was the same layout because it is a bit dirty. But yeah, other than that, yeah, everything is well, all the common stuff is where I need it. Got some Allens on there. I want to do the same with the Torx on this other side. Some sump sockets, torque wrenches, filter strap, filter cup, filter claw, charger for the power section. Uh, or Milwaukee just because it's good and reasonably priced yeah so yeah probably wouldn't use out else it looks like I've got a bit of a space for an addition of some sort so we've got a half inch impact driver 3 8 battery ratchet M12 drill M12 bit driver some batteries and we've got a torch which to be fair is looking to be about ready to be replaced. But I think that was only 20 odd quid. They seem to have gone up in price. So not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. <clears throat> A side shelf which obviously will fold down. Like that and also nearly come off the fucking hooks. But that will probably be used for sort of diagnostic stuff. I could put the scope on there if I'm 
you know, probing sensors or whatever. Electrical drawer on the same side as where this scope and that would be. Got some test lights, multimeter, OBD breakout box, <clears throat> a couple of wires, some wire strippers, heat shrink, electrical tape. I do like these drawers. The feel of them for me is better than these. Yeah, the sort of soft closing. Yeah, anyway, this side pliers, um, oil filter grips, some uh, like Stilson's type things, a couple of sets of adjustable grips, molies, thin nose, end cutters. Long nose molies and a scraper. Uh, not sure where my side cutters have gone, but they will be in here at some point. And there's a bit of room for uh, yeah additions. Next draw down. Spanners. Yes. So we've got six to twenty. My seventeen is MIA at the moment, and then twenty-one to thirty-two. Uh, Various brands. Yeah, Premier, Snap On, Segan, some E spanners there, Flex Head Ratchet spanners, 8 to 19, Blue Point, and well, it says Signet, but it's got a gear wrench on the back. I've heard of them on a few of these tours. People seem to rave about them, so yeah, I guess I've done alright. A blue point adjustable spanner, a viscous fan spanner, and a couple of sort of, well, I probably won't use them to be fair, but they'll just chill in there anyway. Swan neck spanners, 8 to 22, but it's missing the 21, which probably will be the most frequently used. Good sort of strut tops and stuff. Next draw, <clears throat> hammers, chisels and that will go in here once I retrieve them from my other toolbox. A pick set, I want far more in there, probably some little torques in there would be nice. Maybe some newer ones of them because they're battered. Trim tool. Don't think these were that dear to be fair, considering it's snap on. And then flex head, long blue point ratchet spanners. I might squeeze them in here. These aren't used that much, so I might be able to get them in the back. But we'll see. I haven't tried yet. Next draw down is power probe, a MITI vac, or two sensor sockets. So many defenders that haven't been opened, a bit of eye protection, tire inflator which I need a adapter for. And then on the bottom is going to be stuff in cases I would think. Uh, we've got a boost leak, uh, boost, yeah, turbo leak tester there. Just some wipes for the tools and a bag. Just to take stuff away from, well, when I was doing stuff at home, basically. But obviously, my idea is to have one of these toolboxes for home use. The other at work. Uh, so the bag, yeah, probably won't need. Maybe just bring my power tools and that home and back. And then, yeah, get rid of my big, my big box because I don't need it. Haven't had it at home since August. Haven't had it in my new job since I started there in September. So, yeah, it's going to get sold and I'm going to just work out with these two. Um, and that is it for this one. I don't know the part number of this. Obviously, I only got it yesterday. I've had a quick look round. 
can't see the sticker on it anywhere. Um, if I find it, I'll let you know. I'm probably going to do a comparison between these two. But obviously, now that I've sort of swapped tools and had a bit of a mess around, I've kind of got things I like and dislike about both of them. So stay tuned for that. Cheers for watching. See you next time. Bye.